Buongiorno belli amici! Welcome to Calabria Dreaming! We are in Crotone today! Finally! It's been a while since I was out here and today is the first time I'm making a video. It is the uh, um, Independence Day of Italy, the Festa di Naz Nazionale. So everybody's out on the beach and it's beautiful. So far, I love Crotone. We just got here and Angelo already knows everybody here. But it's really cute, super, super fun. And the beach has like a red sand, super fine sand. And from what I understand, the water is very shallow all the way out. Like you can walk forever out into the water. So yeah, we're gonna take you guys on a little tour and discover Crotone together. I'm super excited. It's really hot out. Angelo used to live here like 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And of course, everybody recognizes him. It's just the way it is. It's like dating a celebrity, being married to a celebrity. So yeah, guys, let's go check it out. It looks like a lot of fun. Everybody's in a good mood. Let's go, booger. Hey, we're just walking down the Lungomare. I thought I would show you guys some of the restaurants. It is closed partially today because of the holiday, but lots of stuff is still open. I mean, I just love these like beach houses from the 70s. Look how cute Crotone is. I'm liking it so far packed today with people yeah and I can't wait to go try this water out so yeah let's take a little walk guys I've never been here before so I'm seeing it blind like you guys are super cute very beachy met Angelo's friend who's like a tour guide and he's gonna show us the centro storico He's gonna tell us a little bit about Crotona and the history. Come on, Goober. Sonny's being a little stinky butt today. But he's gonna get it together, right, Goober? Yeah. Let's change, let's change the vibe. Look at that cute house. I love it. Really cute town, like really good vibes. I like it here. Cute. He's being a stinky butt baby. School office. Sunny, you like Crotona? Oh yeah. Let's have a good day today, okay buddy? Ooh, it's really hot today, so happy to be walking in the shade. 16th century. La città medievale. Allora, medievale. Questo sono le mura della Crotone antica. Uh -huh. Cioè nel senso la vecchia città di Crotone era dentro queste mura. Ok. Oh wow, cool. Uh, three kilometers. Three. three kilometers. Vedi, continua tutto qui. Wow. Gira tutto. Ma si può entrare qui? These were the old aristocratic houses that they used to live in, where the barons used to live. So... So cool. Grecia. Sì. In, in pratica Crotone era grande quanto Atene. Uh-huh. Crotone Era grande quando come Atene. It was a big, big e, city. At Olympic Games. Olympic Games. Era qua. Crotone e, e, batteva Atene. Uh -huh. In una Olimpiadi, uh -huh. su i primi otto, uh -huh. sette, i primi sette furono di Crotone. So out of the first eight Olympic Games, sì. seven were in Crotone, in and they were Crotone. always against Ath Athens. They were fighting. di Crotone, Milone, uh -huh. è stato il più, è il più forte, il più grande atleta di tutti i tempi. Wow. Ha vinto tantissime Olimpiadi, mm. ed è la sua statua al Louvre di Parigi, uh -huh. in San Paolo, Brasile, ah, Marsiglia. Sì. Wow. Very cool. Allora, il primi Olympics erano qui 
Sí, no, y somos gente que debe tantísimo de deporte. So the first Olympic Games were here. Wow, that's incredible. This is the old market. This is the old market area? Yeah, he's trying to propose to, because he worked with the major. Uh-huh. Trying to propose to... To reopen it? To reopen it in the market. Yeah, this could be something. Era questo. Allora, the castle è near. Is over there. E questa è la porta, la porta, qui sarà lì. Ok. Prodotti tipici dell'est Europa. <laughs> Scusa, ma devo vedere. Poi lo sai che questi sono da tutto e non ti nessuno. 60 euro a mese. 60 euro a month in rent? Yeah. Well, 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 For an Astoria's front yeah. here? This is poor. It's an apparent accuracy. Oh, this is like Russian stuff. Oh, cool. I love Russian food. Come on, Gooby. It's closed, Gooby Doobs. Come on, we're gonna go see the castle. Come on. Oh, look, so this is like the old uh, wall of the city. So I guess Luigi works with the mayor of Crotone and he's trying to revive it a little bit and bring some life back. Sorry for all the cuts, guys. I'm just dealing with a very cranky baby today. Shooting a video with a cranky baby. Anyways, he didn't go to school today because it's a holiday. So we said, let's bring him with us. And you know four-year-olds sometimes they get cranky anyways here we go oh, wow qui c'era la porta qui c'era la porta della delle mura quelle mura uh -huh. oh this was the door mm -hmm. in pratica era proprio qui uh -huh. questa è una ricostruzione Cosa hanno fatto? Uh -huh. Qui hanno abbattuto e hanno aperto questi portici ah, per la, la, per la the new city. They opened up the, the, the walls for the, for the new city. For the new city. It's beautiful. Quello è il corso. Uh -huh. il corso. And this is the old city. This is old city. Ok, let's go check it out. Importanti perché c'era bizantini, uh -huh. e greco, romano. Wow. E dopo Questo. che è caduta una bomba. Questo praticamente, dopo che è stato bombardato a Crotone durante la guerra mondiale, è uscito fuori che praticamente c'erano le mura bizantine, romane. So they bombed the city in the Second World War and then they discovered all of these Roman things. Invece c'è una sotto chiesa sotto che scende dalle mura sotto. Qui le mura sono lì. Uh -huh. Le mura che abbiamo visto prima? Sì. Sono queste, dietro sì, queste sì, case. Sì, 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 sì. E c'è una sotto chiesa, ci sono tutti i teschi, c'è tutto l'ossario. There's an under church here. Oh, it's like a layer, ok. Yeah, with all the bones. So this is like yeah, the historical. Yeah. Vendisi, we like the sign Vendisi always. A lot of little cute restaurants, like super, yeah. you can tell like nightlife here must be fun. This is all the nightlife? Yeah, it's, it's for the nightlife too. No, it's nice. It's See. super cute. Wow, look at these houses. Love it. Wow, look at these. Vendisi, this building right here. I wonder how much they go for. I, Angela was saying that this part of Calabria is very inexpensive, like Cropani and. Um, Just all this area around Crotone, it's really cheap. It's actually big mafia country, so a lot of the beaches are completely untouched. There's no hotels or anything, so it's interesting. Oh, look at this. And here's some more Byzantine walls that they discovered after being bombed in the Second World War. Here we go. Ooh, what's this cool street? Here, down here, there is the first church of Crotone, but they close it back. Underneath the... They found it, but they close it back. Underneath the, the street? Right here. Wow. That's super nice. Look at this. Mm -hmm. I don't like some of 
Ecco you can sit there if you want. Oh, questo invece è qui. No. Questa piazza, this place. Questo? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. The first uh, church in Crotone. In Crotone. It's another church. Is it, was it a Greek church? Eh, no, dopo, Romano. Okay, Roman. Oh, questo ha fatto uno che pure... Questa è una chiesa bellissima. Questo c'è un pozzo sottoterra. So there's a lot of underground stuff here that was, I guess, just covered up. Very interesting. I'm learning about the underground world in Italy. There's a lot of tunnels and things that have been buried and covered up. Look at how beautiful this building is. Oh, I love it. Wow. Look at this door. Piazza Santa Chiara. Chiesa di Santa Chiara. Questa qui. Questa you qui can dentro. relax. Questa qui dentro. Allora, così. Poi sarebbe questa qui. Uh -huh. Poi qui ci hanno chiuso le carmelitane. Uh -huh. Poi there was the, the, the nuns that was in Here. Uh -huh. Like a nun, nun monastery, whatever yeah. it's called. Poi c'è un pozzo. Vediamo qua. I just love these flowers. Qui dentro? Uh -huh. Questo è qui dentro, guarda, Angelo, guarda. Ah, there is uh, water. Uh, 1616. Wow. Okay, guys. We're continuing our little tour. The cranky baby tour. This family. This family in a... Eh, 1799 mm -hmm. eh, eh, Liberty for, per la libertà uh -huh, for liberty are killed eh, Borboni who was killed by eh. the Borboni for I, I Lucarne, Lucifero and the other person uh, lottavano per la libertà e furono uccisi yeah, right? for, for, alla spianata del castello yeah, four people was killed here they used to live here the day with uh, freedom fighters mm -hmm. in the 1700s wow Old family. Old families, yeah. Do they still own this the building? The garden, the garden on the on the wall. Uh huh. The wall is there. Sì. Si. Dove siamo stati prima? Questo è il muro. Hai visto che eravamo sul muro? Ma ti posso chiedere una cosa per finire questo? Eh, le famiglie che that own these houses ancora lo si. tengono? Sì. Diversi castelli. So they still diversi. own these houses. So these families from the 1700s still own these houses. Look at this church. But look at this building, mamma mia. The wall here, mommy. Uh, the wall. Yes, I know. I'm showing the building right now, yeah. so I can't. Now jump. we are in the, in the wall. Now we're on the wall, and this is here, the park. The wall, uh, uh huh. Oh. Bellissimo, see. Sì. But just look at the grandeur of this building. Super cool. Lots and lots of layered history here, guys. Layers upon layers. So Greek, Roman, Byzantine, Normandy, World Wars. Ah, sì, sì, sì. Possiamo entrare? No, it's closed. These privately owned homes still from these families that have owned them for centuries. Imagine that wealth. Like, that's the thing about Italy. Your name is really important, your last name, because some of the names go back, you know, centuries, millennia. And um, we have a bunch of friends that, we have a bunch of friends that are landowners that uh, the land has been in their family for like thousands of years. And it's just wild to think of that. Like, wow, what a legacy. My family don't own no land. My dad was a Mexican Indian that didn't believe in laying claim to the land. So, but that's cool. These buildings are lovely. All right, so here is the castle, guys. 
So it's a medieval castle, so it's not a Greek castle. But Luigi was just telling us that there's a whole underground city underneath here. So it's just layers and layers, like I was saying earlier. Hello, doggy. Um, so that's, that's wild. It is hot today, you guys. I got my swimsuit underneath my dress. We're gonna go eat a little food after this and then jump in the water. Cannot wait. Then here you have like these modern buildings. Castello. Oh wow. Ponte e qui dentro la città antica, nelle mura. So here's the ancient city. Wall, city and castle. And castle. So that's the bridge. So the bridge the, the, br the, br the bridge that gets you into the castle. Yeah. Cool. So we're back on the Lungomare. We just circled back around and we're gonna go find somewhere to eat. But I wanted to see, I wanted to show you guys the marina because they have a big boat marina here. So if you want to own a boat and live the good life, this would be a great option, especially because it's fairly inexpensive out here compared to like Tropea or Soverato. So let's go see the the marina over here. Wow, Sunny, look at all the boats. Oh, very cool. So it's a little small marina, but let's go see what kind of boats people have here. A little boat like this is all we really need. Yeah, we're gonna jump in soon. But hold mommy's hand so you don't fall in. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little fishy. Don't tell me there's a shark. There's no sharks here, Gooby. We talked about this. There's no sharks here. Sharks live up in the ocean. Little city. Capo the old city. From the, the temple. Over there? See, the, the, the church. Uh, uh, C'erano le mura qui sopra. Qui ci sono le mura greche. Qui e dopo di là and arriva. So these are all Greek walls, huh? Sì. So this whole uh, space here, all of these Infatti voglio far fare un parco qui sopra. Walls and then there's a Greek temple out over there, Capo Columno. But uh, yeah, this is the marina. Cute little restaurant over there. And it looks like they have a little sailing school because I see these little sails over here. I used to take sailing classes when I lived in Sweden. So yeah, this is the beautiful marina. Angela wants to give you a little history about a very famous singer. Yeah, this is Rino Gaetano. He was born here in this house here, right here. He was born in and this born house here. here. Hold on. Yes. And he was one of the most uh, famous singer in the 80s. He was pretty much revolutionary. He was like... Uh, What's a famous song? As Marcello is sempre più blu. That is even the... Marcello is sempre più blu. Marcello is sempre più blu. Ah. We're gonna put it maybe another time. Yeah. And he was used to play with his ukulele, dress with his little hat. He was pretty much original in his style. And he just died in Rome when he was 30 years old. Ah. In a car accident. Ah. But uh, Crotone, he was always uh, uh, so tied to his city, so tied to his origin, that he, even if he lives, lived in Rome for all his life, he always loved Crotone and Crotone dedicated Loves to him. him. Yeah. Oh, very cool! So, Luigi was telling us about how the Olympics were uh, here in Crotone, and if you see, these are the winds. We have 50 winds for Crotone, which used to be called Croton back in the day. So there's all these um, Greek names. But Crotone was like the number one. Syracuse is 31 winds. And here is the map of the ancient Greece. So you can see Croton is right here and Athens is right here. So I mean, we're really close. 
to Greece. And so this was old ancient Greece, all of this right here. Cyprus, Rhodes, Samos, Sparta. This is Sparta! And then all of this. And we're right here and we live over here. Kaolonia, that's next to our house. So yeah, this is some major, major history, you guys. And then this is what like the Olympics used to be like. I guess they were all naked. Is that real? And then here's some ancient Greek pottery. Nini, you know how old this stuff is? This is like 3,000 years old. Wow, so this is how they used to sail around. Super cool. We're right here, Nini, look. That's where we are right now. And this is where we live. It's not that far, really. Anyways, guys, okay, continuing on to look for the best pizza. Crotona is very well known for its restaurant culture. There's restaurants everywhere. And unlike Catanzaro, they eat lunch here out instead of going home and eating. So we're gonna eat this place, L'Insolito, L'Insolito. And then we're gonna go jump in the water, but I just thought I'd give you like a little shot of where we are and what we're eating. So yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go see, I'm really, really hungry and I'm super, super hot because it's 35 degrees Celsius today. So let's go see, I saw some sweet potato fries. That would be amazing if they have sweet potato fries because I miss that. So here's the restaurant. Look at the dolcini. This is the inside. And here are my two stinker butts. Alrighty guys, how's it looking? All right, guys, let's take a look at the menu here. I did see sweet potato fries. So it looks like they have like a lot of burgers, nine euros, 12, 10, 10, 11. Salsiccia, calabrese, porchetta, pollo. All right. They have la pinza, so it's like a small pizza. A little bit higher prices here, I feel like. Nine euros, 8.50. Yeah, here you pay. But it's beautiful. Look where you are. Salads. Ah. Polpette di di melanzane. All righty, Sunny. What are you gonna have? Pizza. Pizza. Fish and chips. <gasps> that looks good. Crispy salad. And then the wines. You see young people too? Yeah, it's fun. It's, yeah, Crotona feels young. It feels fun. hip, fun. It feels like a nightlife here is crazy. Um, like I said, the restaurant culture is bigger here. Like they go out and eat lunch here. All the restaurants feel open. What are you doing? Okay, you're doing your sticker book. All right, guys, so let's see what we order. All right, guys. I just had to get the sweet potato fries a la Americana. So it has cheddar sauce and bacon on it. Unfortunately, Angelo can't eat it. And unfortunately, Sunny doesn't like sweet potato fries. So this is all for me. All right, guys. Next up for me is a grilled chicken salad which is so unusual to find in Calabria. They're not big into salads, so I just had to go for it. It's pretty basic, but honestly, I'm so happy to eat a salad instead of pasta and pizza all the time. This is my sandwich, gluten-free, homemade bread, gluten-free, with everything inside. Okay, let's eat. All right, guys, we just had a lovely lunch in Crotone, and now we're taking an after lunch little swim. Thought I'd show you guys the beaches of Crotone. So the sand is like this gray or uh, reddish, brownish, orange color, but look at how like it's 
it's like fine sand super nice and the water is very shallow like people you could walk out a half a kilometer here and still only be up to your knees such a difference from our part of the mediterranean where basically just like one big stare down into like super deep waters look where sunny padroni is he's all the way out so yeah guys so that, that's where we were just earlier that's the city of crotona but the ancient city of Croton, which was the Greek city, stretched all the way from there, all the way up here, and all the way to the end. So back in the ancient Greek times, this whole bay was Croton, where they had Olympic Games, and they were in direct competition with Athens, like Luigi told us. So I really like Crotona. It feels really young. There's a big restaurant culture here. Like so many places were open for lunch, which in, in our part of the world, I mean, Sovrato is always open, but Catanzaro, I feel like a lot of people eat at home. Whereas the, it feels very young and hip here and cool and a lot of people out. And I, I can't imagine what it's like at night because it seems like a lot of fun. It's not a very big town. Like the city of Crotona is not huge. But what I really like is that they made these little, um, these pools, so they like enclose it with rocks so that it's a little bit more calm in here. And it's literally like bath water. This water is so warm. I can't even imagine what it's like in August. Angelo did live here for four years and he says in August, it's a really oppressive heat. Like you cannot find relief. The water is warm and there's just nowhere to run to. <sighs> Oh, uh, so I can only imagine. But yeah, the beaches are, I have to say, a little dirtier. Like, there's a lot of trash out here. So that's one thing I've noticed. But I really like the sand because it's just, like, super soft sand. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed coming with us to Crotona. We could have spent eight hours just walking through all the ruins. Um... But we had our little cranky baby with us today. But we had a great time. We learned so much. We had a really nice lunch. And now I'm going to get some sun and then head on home. So thank you guys so much for coming with us. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So you can really help our channel grow and help this amazing part of Italy be more well known. So thanks so much for coming, guys. We'll see you soon in the next video. Ciao.